So first we will implement the UI for the sign in and sign up and then we will allow the user to sign in and sign up using Firebase as backend. We will use Firebase authentication and Firestore database. So let's continue. So what we need to do now is we will create a new folder here. Right click on lib new directory or package. Okay. And we will give it name as this will be auth screens. Let's close this for now. And now inside the auth screen folder, right click on auth screens folder new and we are going to create a dot file. It will be by the name auth underscore screen import the material dot dot we will create stateful widget we will give it name as auth screen then right click on auth screen again new dot file and we are going to create another screen which will be sign in sign in underscore screen import material dot dot create stateful widget we will give it name as sign in screen and then right click on all screens again new dot file and this will be sign up underscore screen import material dot dot material dot dot package stateful widget sign up screen and just for now we can simply add single child scroll view child column widget children widget for now we will just add text widget just to know that this is the sign up page because we will add a tab view uh, option where the user can navigate between sign in and sign up so this is sign up style textile font size let's say 30 and color we will give it color start gray and then the same thing we can do for our login just copy this single child scroll view I mean this whole code okay you can minimize from here and just copy like this and then we can simply add it here okay as you know this is login that is sign in so we can say sign in this is just for now of course later we will implement the whole UI for sign in and sign up in the upcoming videos We can add default tab controller and we have to specify the length that is how many options we will have. So we will have to sign in and sign up that is two buttons for two screens. Child scaffold widget we will add app bar app bar and in the app bar we do not want the back button which is which exists by default so we will set this to true or false okay automatically simply leading this is when you do not want the uh, back button which is by default in flutter so you have to set it to false if you want the back button then you have to set it to true then we will add title using the text widget we can say the name of your app we can give it name for now as iFood okay if you want to give it your name of course you can give it your own name now let's apply some textile on it font size will be 26 color for this will be white pure white we want this title at the center of the app bar so we will set this to true then we will add our tab bar that is the two tab options or you can say two buttons so we can say bottom tab bar 
tabs so our first tab option will be with an icon and a text so the icon will be icon for the login button which icon you want to display so we can say icon icon start login you can proceed with this icon or I will proceed with this one the color for this will be white and then after the after the icon we have to provide for our tab option the text so the text for this will be login so this is our login tab that is login tab option or you can say button on which the user click we will send the user to the login page then we will copy paste this tab like this and we will change this to sign up or you can say a register instead of calling it login we can say sign in okay this is sign in and this is sign up or you can call it login register these are just the titles okay which will be display on the user interface after the tabs option we want the indicator color for it that is when the user tap on it which color it will have so indicator color will be colors dot white 38 and the indica indicator weight will be 5 so this is all about what we did here is that we add a bar and inside that app bar we add title and then we add our tab bar two buttons or you can say two options the first button is sign in the other button is sign up after this we have to uh, add the click event for it like for example when the user tap on sign in button we will send the user to the sign in page and when the user tap on the sign up button we will send the user to the sign up page okay that is navigate between these two so after the app bar you can say body container the color for this will be color start black 87 child const tab bar view children so according to this our first one button is sign in and second one is sign up so first we will add our sign in page here sign in screen okay the second one we have is sign up so in simple words you can say that sign in screen is linked to sign in tab option or you can say tab button and sign up screen is linked with sign up tab button or you can say sign up tab option now as you may have seen in the previous video when we test the application the theme the default theme of our app is white however we want to proceed with the dark theme as you guys see already in the introduction video of this course so to change the theme you can change the theme of your entire app from here from main dot dot so on the main dot dot here what you can do is you can see this theme just remove this theme data and we can say theme data dot dark dot copy with and all the scaffold which we will add that is the scaffold background color will be by default it will be change to black okay it will be changed to black for our scaffold so once you do this now we are ready to test our application so I will open up my phone and now let's install the app on the phone by clicking this play button so our app is running now as you can see now one thing which we forgot to add go to the splash screen splash screen as you know splash screen is our first page and for now we have add home screen so instead of home screen we can say auth screen okay change this to auth screen so let's install the app again on our phone 
of course later when we add the uh, sign in and sign off feature using the backend with firebase then uh, we will add a condition here if the user is already logged in then we will send the user to the home screen otherwise if the user is not already logged in we will send the user to the auth screen which is basically this one as you can see so currently we are on the sign in screen you can see and if we click here on sign up then we are here on the sign up screen of course for the sign up let's change the logo so in here on our auth screen this logo we will change to person so now if we check then you can see so as according to the code first we have the app bar title which you can see in the app bar we have iFood title which is at the center then in the app bar bottom which is here okay we have tab bar with two tab options or you can say with two tab buttons sign in and sign up which you already see first and second one and then the indicator color is white 38 and height is 5 which is this below this bar you can see when I click here you see this below bar you know indicator which is in white 38 color you can see that and then of course in the body we display the sign in screen and sign up screen which will change according to the click event when the user click on sign in it will show sign in screen and when the user click on sign up it will show the sign up screen